Hello guys, we all know Laravel Eloquent Soft Deletes feature, but in some projects the requirement for deleting the records may be more complicated. In this video I will show you a demo project with exactly that, more complicated scenario with archive and bin. And the idea is based on the functionality of Google Keep that I use myself and I noticed recently that they have on the left, as you can see, archive and bin. So for every note I can archive them and it doesn't mean I deleted them. Archive in this case is just a separate label or a tag and from archive I can either restore or move to bin. And bin is similar to what we have with soft deletes in Laravel. So I've deleted those notes and then for each note I can choose to restore store it or delete forever. And if I don't delete the notes from the bin manually, they are automatically deleted after seven days. So how to implement that in Laravel? And this is actually a follow-up to my recent video about soft deletes where I showed exactly that Google Keep as a concept and asked you whether you want me to actually build that project. And at least five of you in the comments said you would like that, so here we go. First a demonstration and then I will show you the code. This is based on Laravel Breeze regular tasks CRUD with such functionalities. So for every task, we can archive that task with confirmation, of course, and then it goes to the archive, which is a separate menu item. Then from archive, you can either restore or move to bin. So let's get back to the task and let's delete the task, which would actually move that to bin. From the bin, you can also restore that or delete forever, or you can click empty bin now, which would delete the whole bin contents. In this case, it's hard delete with force delete. And also there's a scheduled job with deleting after seven days. And now I will show you the code, but in this video, I will show you the main things you need to know, but the full repository will be available as a part of our new feature on Laravel Daily, which is called Project Examples Menu Item, which I think will be a new tradition for this channel. So I do some demo and then we publish the project here with the full repository. If it's more simple project, then it will be for free, but if it took us longer to build, like in this case for archive, this will be available for premium members of Laravel Daily. So in a way we expand Laravel Daily from just courses and tutorials website to also set off repositories for you to use and learn from. But still on YouTube, I will show you basically all you need to know. First, the database structure. In the tasks table, we add soft deletes and also we add archived add which is almost the same functionality as soft delete. So there's deleted at, and now separately we have archived at as nullable timestamp. Then in the routes, we have regular task controller for active task. And then separately, we have two more controllers. In this case, they are not resource controllers because they have different actions, not just delete, but it's more like restore, archive. So the names of the methods and the URLs do not really correspond perfectly to resource controllers. That's why we decided to make them separately with get post and delete methods. So there's task archive controller and task bin controller. We'll get to those in a minute. For now, task controller, the main one. The most important part here is this one. We get the tasks, but active ones. What is active? It's a scope. Inside of the task model to avoid repeating ourselves, we have this Wernal archived at as a scope. So that's how we show the active tasks in the main task controller. The whole other controller is pretty straightforward with these two methods are important. Destroy will send the tasks to the soft deletes. So this one will fill deleted at and archive method would fill archived at and not deleted at. In the blade part to avoid repeating the same table, we have a separate partial includes table with a few parameters. What tasks to show and is it a bin or not? So we get to that table and then we have a few if statements here for the last action column. If it's a bin, then we have one set of action. If it's archive, then it's another set of action. Else we have two forms to archive and to destroy the task. But even that destroy is actually sending that to soft deletes. Now, if we go to task archive controller, which is this one, this menu item, and I've archived one task for example. In this case, we have task archived paginate. What is archived? You probably have seen that already another scope. But in this case, the scope is reused many more times. So for actions like restore or move to bin, for both of them, we actually need to check. It's not just route model binding, it's checking that this task particularly is archived. Otherwise, we return 404 with find or fail. And then again, we unarchive it with null or delete it to soft deletes. And then the final controller is task bin controller. 
In this case, we have only trashed, which comes from eloquent. We don't need to create a separate scope. And this is how the methods for restore and force delete look like. We get with trashed, which is another scope of eloquent. And then for empty bin, we force delete all the trashed tasks. Now, what about that automatically deleted after seven days? How does that work? For that, we use Laravel feature, eloquent feature called prunable. This is the trait added to the model of task. Then we define the condition of prunable, which records should be deleted on which condition. So we get only trashed tasks were deleted at older than seven days. And then to launch that automation, we schedule the task, schedule the artisan command model prune daily in the routes console file. This is in Laravel 11. Before Laravel 11, it used to be an app console kernel file, but this is one way how you can schedule daily hard deleting of the items. And then finally, how we tested that whole scenario. This is pretty complex with a lot of if statements. So to make sure that it actually works, automated tests is a must. This is by the way, a general theme in our Laravel project examples. As much as possible, I will try to include automated tests in all the demo projects, including this one. So in this case, we have tasks CRUD test for the main CRUD with index create store and other things tested, including the validation failures. Then there's also tasks archiving test and tasks deleting test all with best. So if we run PHP artisan test, we have 40 something tests passed. Some of them come from the default Laravel breeze, so it doesn't really count, but three files are about tasks, which test all the various scenarios that we came up with for archive, bin, restore, and force delete. So yeah, this is the project. What do you think? Which parts maybe you would implement differently? Let's discuss in the comments below. And as I mentioned, the full repository is available as a part of projects examples for Laravel daily members. The link will be in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.